Do you want to create a custom branded Amazon live stream? One that really stands out and gets you more followers and the attention of brands and sponsors? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. What's going on, everybody? Monty Weaver here and welcome to the channel. If you're brand new, I help you navigate through digital tech and social media. And so if I can help you in any area, make sure you get subscribed to the channel by clicking that red subscribe button and turning on the notification bell. That way you'll receive an alert every single time I upload a brand new video. By now, I'm going to assume you've gone on Amazon Live and you've seen some awesome looking broadcasts such as Loving Literacy, where she features toys, and Chris Giles of Black Tie Media that has a countdown timer and is a gamer on the Amazon Live platform. And now you're looking to figure out how you can create an awesome broadcast just like them. Well, I'm gonna walk you through it step-by-step step in this video, but I wanna make sure that you stay to the end of this video so you can get in our community group where we can help you with things like live streaming and also answer any other questions that you might have to help you really grow on Amazon Live. So we're gonna jump into the desktop and get started creating that awesome custom branded live stream. Now, before I get started, I'm gonna say it right now. There is no way that I can cover every single aspect of OBS in this video. I'm not even going to be able to touch the surface of everything that you can do with this platform, but I will show you some of the things that you can do so that way you can have some ideas going forward. Now I'm going to link below this video to a course that I've already done that's going to answer most of the questions I already know you guys are going to ask. So make sure you click below this video and look for the professional live streaming course 101 and you'll be able to check that out and add that to your cart so that you can deeper dive into the OBS platform. Now to get started with this platform, you'll need to go to the website obsproject.com and you'll be able to download the software that is completely free. So you can use this on your Windows computer, your Mac computer, and even those of you that are familiar with Linux, you can use it on that as well. So once you've downloaded this software, which is a very simple download, and you install it, you'll be able to open up to the platform and you'll be able to have a window that looks a little bit something like this. Welcome to OBS version 26.0.2 at the time of this video. OBS continues to make updates, so definitely make sure that you have the latest and greatest software when you're about to start using it. But this is what the platform looks like. Now, it might seem a little complicated, but trust me, if you're brand new to this, I'm going to make it super easy for you to navigate, giving you the basics to get started. Now, when we first open up OBS, we have one black screen on the very top. And at the bottom, we have the ability to create scenes and sources and also monitor our audio volume. That is going to be the most important part of the entire process. And then over to the bottom right, we have the ability to start streaming and also start and stop recording, which is an added bonus. So that's what we're really going to pay attention to in today's video. Now, the very first thing we want to do is go into our scene section and create a brand new scene. OBS gives you the ability to create multiple scenes, but we're just going to create one for this video. So we're going to go to the plus sign and we're going to call this our Amazon live scene. And we're going to select OK. And now we need to bring in certain elements into our scene. And the main element is going to be the camera. So I'm going to add my camera by hitting the plus sign and navigating to video capture device. And I'm going to call this my camera. Now it's important that when you're selecting items, you want to give them a name that you can refer to again later. Trust me, it'll come in handy. Maybe not in this video, but it'll come in handy later. So make sure you name your items correctly. So we'll call this camera and say, okay. And now we'll get a pop-up window where we can select our camera. And if you have multiple cameras, you'll have the drop-down option to select any camera that you want. Now, as you can see, I use a lot of cameras here at my office, in my home office, but I'm just gonna select the camera that you're looking at me on right now, which is my CamLink 4K. Now I'm gonna change the resolution because as you can see in the background, I'm a little bit bigger than I want to be. So I'm going to change my resolution as well. Now, by default, it's not giving me the 1920 by 1080, which is no problem. 
because I'm gonna show you how to resize any video element or any image element that you want on the screen. So we're gonna select OK. And by navigating to the upper corner, either the left or the right, top or bottom, you can click and make the image smaller. So we're gonna click and resize this to make sure that it fits inside of our 16 by nine square. You wanna make sure that you're using all of the real estate here on the OBS screen. And if you notice, we also have our audio meter that is showing that my audio is live right now as well. As it goes up and down, that's a good indication to let you know that your audio is working. But as you can see that it is a little hot that means it's going into the red section. And when you're speaking, you don't want it to be in the red. So what we wanna do is grab the bar below the camera audio and slide it down into the green section. We really wanna keep our audio between the green and the yellow. And we also wanna make sure that it's unmuted as well. So now that we have our camera on the screen and now that we have our audio, we wanna add some different elements to really make our broadcast stand out. And so the first element that you saw in Chris's video was a countdown timer. Now I'm gonna link above this video to the playlist where you can grab one of my countdown timers and use it for your next video. So I've already downloaded the countdown timer on my computer. So now I'm just gonna bring it into OBS and I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna create a new scene by going to the plus sign in the scene section. And we're gonna call this a countdown and we're gonna select OK. And now our countdown is actually going to be a video file. So any video file that you wanna bring into your OBS broadcast, you can do so by going to the sources section. You can click the plus sign and then selecting media source. We're gonna name this as a countdown timer and select OK. And now we simply need to browse to the location of this file. So I'm gonna select the browse button. I'm gonna go into documents and live streaming and select my countdown timer. And now I'm gonna select okay. And now you can see I have a countdown timer on the screen. So this is a great idea, especially on live streaming with Amazon because you wanna give your audience time to know that you're live. If you just immediately hit the start streaming button, nobody's going to be there. So giving your audience time to show up and be able to spread the message that you are live, it's just a great helpful hint. So now we wanna go back to our original camera scene, which we called Amazon Live. And we're simply gonna select Amazon Live in our scene section. So now we're back. One of the things that you can really do with the OBS platform is create these custom broadcasts. And if you wanna take a scene that you've already created and without having to start all over again, you can use the duplicate function. So what I wanna do is keep this same image that you're seeing now, but I just wanna simply duplicate it. That way I don't have to do all the adding again. So we're just gonna right click on Amazon Live, select duplicate, and I'm gonna call this Amazon Live with overlay and select OK. And now I wanna be able to add some text onto the screen. And we can add text by going into our sources section, selecting the plus sign, navigating to text, and we'll call this name, selecting OK. And now we can type in text on our broadcast. I'm simply gonna type in my name, and you have the ability within OBS to do a lot of features. Again, no way I can cover every single thing in this video. But one of the things you can definitely do is change the color, provide an outline, make scrolling text. You can do a lot in OBS. I'm gonna select OK. And now I have my name on the screen. And again, I can resize this just by simply clicking on one of the red dots on the screen. I'm gonna move this over to the corner. And now we have a broadcast that looks a little bit better than everyone else's that's just streaming on their tablet or iPhone device. But let's take it to a next level. Let's add some more. I also like to have templates and graphics in my broadcast. So again, I have these files already saved. 
and I can navigate to them by selecting the plus sign and going into image this time because this is going to be an image graphic. And I'm going to call this an overlay. Selecting OK. Again, just navigating to the location of my overlay. And I use quite a bit of overlays. I'm going to select the main one that you've probably seen on Amazon Live and open this overlay. Now, as you can see, it looks cool, but it doesn't look right. So we need to fix that. So the goal that I'm looking to accomplish is to place myself in the left screen and have my computer screen or an image be on the right hand side. So in order to do this, we simply just move elements around, drag and drop, crop and resize. You literally can create anything inside of OBS. So I'm going to select on my camera inside of the sources section and drag that over to the space that I'm looking to move it to. And then I'm going to resize this to make it smaller. And as you can see, it's all coming together pretty easily, right? So it looks good, except now we just have to fine tune it. And one of the ways that you can do that is by selecting the Alt key in Windows and clicking on the side of the screen and dragging it to fit the dimensions correctly. And I'm going to do it on the other side as well. And now I have a broadcast that is starting to really come together. Now, as you can see, the text where my name is, is chopped off. So I want to make sure that I change that as well. So I can click on that and drag that over to underneath my name. But as you can see, it disappeared. So one of the aspects of OBS is the ability to move layers. And you can simply readjust layers by using the up and the down buttons inside of your scenes and sources section. So I'm going to move my name on top of my overlay by hitting the up button. And now I have my name and my camera in the right position. Now to finish this off, I'm going to add on an image and to fill up the screen. Same process. I'm going to select the plus sign. I'm going to select an image and I'm going to call this a thumbnail image, selecting OK. And again, just simply navigating to my file and I'm going to bring in one of my Amazon templates here. We'll do this one, select OK, my, one of my thumbnails. Again, I can simply resize this to the dimensions that I need. And you see that now this is on the wrong position. So I'm going to take this and move it on the layer behind the overlay. So I'm going to take my thumbnail, select that in the sources section, move it down underneath. And now you see the white border is now around the thumbnail image. So now I have a broadcast that looks awesome. It looks incredible. And again, there are so many different ways that you can do this. If I wanted this thumbnail graphic to be my computer screen, it could be just that. Or maybe I'm playing a video game and I want to feature the game. I could bring that in as well. Or maybe I want a video to play while you're looking at me talk. I can do that as well. There are different aspects to this. So again, down below this video, there's going to be a link to a course where you can learn some of the ins and outs of how to use OBS for your broadcast. Now that we have a scene all built out, we want to actually stream to Amazon. That is the goal, right? So in order to do this, you're going to need a couple things. The first thing that you'll need to do is make sure that you go into your Amazon creator app and locate your stream URL and your stream key. Now, these are going to be the most important elements to your live stream broadcast, and you definitely do not want to share this information with anyone else. This is valuable and you want to keep it a secret. So once you navigate into your app, I highly encourage you to grab that URL, grab that stream key, and then also turn on practice mode as well. Because if OBS and live streaming through an application is new to you, you definitely want to practice before you go live. That way you can work out all the kinks. You can get through all the mistakes before you go live to the Amazon platform. Now, once you've grabbed your stream URL and your stream key, you're going to come back into the OBS platform and input your information there. So in order to do that, we're going to navigate to the file section, select settings, 
and then look for the stream tab. The stream tab will allow you to see which different live streaming services you can go to. And as you can see, by default, Amazon is not an option, but we already have that URL and that stream key that you just got from the app. So we're gonna navigate to custom and we're going to copy and paste our server and our stream key in this location. Now your server and your stream key are unique to you. So again, make sure you don't share it with anybody. And the great thing about the stream key and the URL is that they don't change, at least not at the time of this recording. So make sure that you copy and paste it in OBS and then you won't have to do this step every single time you go live. It will already be there. Now once you've copy and pasted that information, you're gonna select apply and then select okay. Now you're good to go. I'm gonna go back and bring up my cool overlay for Amazon Live. And when I'm ready to go live to Amazon, I wanna start with that countdown timer that I had first. So I'm gonna select on my countdown timer. I'm gonna make sure I adjust the audio to the correct settings. And then I can select start streaming. Now, currently I don't have my stream key in here because again, it is private, but once you do, you will not get this error message. So once you select start streaming, you're gonna be streaming whatever is showing on your screen. So make sure that you have the right broadcast set and ready to go. As the countdown timer continues, once we get to the end of our countdown timer, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we switch and go live to our main scene, the camera. So I wanna make sure that I have this set in place. Now, a great thing about OBS is they have this cool feature called studio mode that allows you to see your preview and your live stream at the same time. You can access this by clicking studio mode in the right corner of OBS. So now I can have my Amazon Live ready to go. Three, two, one, transition. And now I can transition to myself on the screen and ready to go. And then when I'm ready to switch to that cool overlay, I can have that ready to go. And then once it's time, hit transition and boom, I'm on the screen. It is that simple. OBS allows you to do a lot. And so you wanna make sure that you practice first. And don't forget when you're done, you wanna make sure you end your broadcast in OBS and on your app. Now, again, this was a quick demonstration of all the things that you can do with OBS, but like I promised you at the beginning, if you need help or you're looking to join a community of Amazon Live creators and influencers, also check the link below this video. You can access a free online community where you can join, provide your knowledge, your questions, and really help each other grow on the Amazon Live platform. Now, if this tutorial was help you, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And in the comment section, is there something that I can really help you with, even take your broadcast to the next level? Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on this channel to really help you navigate through Amazon Live and stand out and get the attention from brands and sponsors and help you increase your revenue online. My name is Monty Weaver, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.